Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am coming to you with a skincare review. I did not mean for that to rhyme, that was so cheesy. Okay, <laughs> jumping straight into it, I am focusing on some Dr. Hauschka products today. I was sent their favorites kit. This is like a little sample box. So this kit is worth around 50 Australian dollars, which I think is great value for money. You get to trial, you know, some everyday products and they're fairly decently sized and really good quality packaging as well. So this is what the kit looks like. It contains five products. And these are great to trial if you're wanting to switch to natural skincare, you're just wanting something compact that you can take away with you and you've got your everyday essentials in here. It's a really decent size to trial the products properly for a good week or so and see if you like them or not. In addition to this kit, I also have a couple of uh, extra products that I trialed. I have the cleansing cream and I have the regenerating day cream complexion. This is part of their new sort of range. So I'm just going to quickly run through each product and give you a bit more info and let you know what I thought of each item. So I'll start off with their soothing cleansing milk. This is a cleanser and a makeup remover. I have to be honest, I've never really been a huge fan of cleansing milks. They're great for mature or sensitive skin or super, super dry skin. But I just find, I feel like they don't wash my face properly. Um, and I always find I have to use a lot of makeup remover um, and just use it after I've removed everything from my face. This one says it can be a makeup remover as well, which I suppose if you were just focusing it on your eyes and you wanted to do this before you did a proper cleanse, it may remove some of the makeup. But I found it just wasn't my thing. I think if you do have mature or super dry sensitive skin and you're wanting something to use in the morning, this would be great. If you're wanting to use it at night, I did test it out to see how well it removed makeup. It did an okay job, but I would have to go back in probably twice and then cleanse after that. And I don't wear a lot of makeup. Like I wear fairly basic makeup. That one, unfortunately, was not a huge hit for me. I didn't not like the product. I think it could work if it's your kind of thing or if you've got mature skin, sensitive skin, or you're wanting something to use in the morning when your skin's got nothing on it, then it might be okay. But for me personally, it's not something that I would purchase. So the next one I have is the facial toner. This says it enlivens and fortifies your skin for normal dry or sensitive skin. Ant anthelus and witch hazel extracts refine pores and support skin's natural firmness and elasticity. I really like this. Again, I know I keep going on about it, but the quality of their packaging is so nice. It's just a beautiful little bottle. It sprays evenly without like squirting you. It kind of is a really nice mist. It's great for sensitive skin. It calms my skin after I've cleansed. It doesn't leave me with that tight, dry feeling that some toners do. Using a toner is great to save your moisturizer as well, so you don't have to use as much of it. If you spray this as soon as you have cleansed your face or you get out of the shower, um, then you'll find it will help carry your moisturizer around your face and into your skin a lot easier, so then you use less moisturizer. So. I really like using this. I would purchase this and I'm happy to recommend it. It is a beautiful balancing toner. Next we have the Quince Day Cream. You can see that I have enjoyed using this because it's almost gone. One thing I will say about some of their products is they do smell almost medicinal, which I don't mind. The Quince Day Cream, it doesn't smell like, I don't know, it, it doesn't smell gross or anything but it kind of it smells like it's good for you like it smells like it has medicinal benefits but it's not strong it's just not something that's going to smell like flowers or like citrus or something it kind of has quite a an individual smell this is fantastic for dry or combination skin a little bit goes a long way when you use the toner and I find it gives me just enough moisture without 
giving me that heavy oiliness later on through the day. It doesn't leave me with any patchiness or leave me feeling like I need more of it. I really enjoyed using this and I will absolutely purchase this again. I'll just give you a little bit more info on it. So this one hydrates and protects for balanced or slightly dry skin, quince seed, marshmallow and witch hazel hydrate and smooth. So maybe that's why it's quite balancing because it does have the witch hazel in it, which I have not used witch hazel on its own for years. I used it as a teenager, like soak it in cotton balls and use it as my toner. And it would just like burn my face because I'd use so much of it after squeezing pimples and stuff. So um, yeah, it's obviously just got the right amount and the right balance. I have fairly normal skin that errs on the side of dryness in some areas. And like most people, by the end of the day, sometimes I am a little bit oily just in my T-zone. So if you have slightly dry, normal skin, this will be a really good um, everyday moisturizer. Next up I have the Lip Care Stick. Now this is probably not something that I would have gone like, oh I'm gonna get that. It's it's not that attractive. It's not like one of your Haraw lip balms that smells like vanilla bean. It doesn't really have much of a smell. Maybe a little bit. Yeah it doesn't have much of a smell. It smells quite natural and you can see by the color. I really like this. It's not too thick. It doesn't leave you with that super shiny look either. It just plumps and softens your lips. That's probably how I would describe it. It makes them feel really soft and plump. I do like using this as soon as I get out of the shower and before I go to bed. It's maybe not something that I would always carry with me, but I do like using it as part of my skincare routine. So I would maybe purchase that again. I think it's quite a decent sized product as well and it actually feels like it's doing something good for your lips. It's not just that it smells pretty or makes your lips look glossy and shiny. So yes, I would recommend this, but if you're wanting something that smells fruity and you know looks pretty, it's probably not what this is intended to be used for. Next up, we have the Hydrating Hand Cream. This is a great little one to keep in your handbag. So this one says it absorbs rapidly with lasting effect and without a greasy residue. I would have to agree with that. Uh, the composition of blackthorn, beeswax and wheat germ oil preserves moisture and creates noticeably smooth skin. So this is not, you know, it's not a super thick hand cream like your Walida um, skin food. It's not as heavy as that, but it still gives you more than a standard moisturizer. It's really silky and it absorbs very quickly, so it's great for the handbag, great if you don't like an oily sort of residue on your skin as well. That's a really good everyday product. So I have a couple of extra products outside of the favourites box that I wanted to share with you. This one is one of my favourites. So I'm going to get up some more info on this, but this is their cleansing cream. So this product is supposed to refine, revitalize, and deeply cleanse for all skin conditions. Calendula and I can't say this word, anthelis. I don't know what it is, I've never heard of it. And sweet almond meal, cleanse, balance, and revitalize for healthy, radiant skin. This has been so good to use in the morning because I have to say I have never felt a texture in a cleanser like this one. You can see, once again, I've been obsessed with this. It's very well used. When I first used it, I was like, what is this? Like, it felt almost like an exfoliant, but without the graininess, it was like a soft exfoliating cream. And I just couldn't figure it out. And I looked into it further and it's got the almond meal. So that's why you get the softness without that scratchy sort of you know, scrub feeling that you can get from some scrubs, but you still get that feeling of exfoliating without the harshness. It's so gentle and leaves my skin calm, but it feels like it's been exfoliated. I love the feeling of exfoliating and I've banned myself from using scrubs on my face because I'm going to sit there and be like, eh, yeah, go into it. Like, get my dead skin off. So they recommend that you grab a couple of cent or one to two centimeters of the product between wet fingers 
kind of blend it all together to get that creaminess and you're supposed to kind of roll it onto the skin, not aggressively scrub it like I so badly wanted to do. I love this so much and I will 100% be purchasing this. I would really recommend it for any skin type because you don't get that redness or that irritation. The last product I have is a fairly new product in their range. This is the Regenerating Day Cream Complexion Smoothing Facial Care. So this is kind of like a tinted moisturizer, but it's almost even lighter than that. Um, you can just use this as your moisturizer or use it over the top of your other moisturizer that you prefer to use if you have super dry skin. I think this is more marketed towards mature skin. It is quite hydrating. It says creating a refreshed and luminous complexion, smoothing face care with mineral pigments, visually balancing for demanding mature skin, light reflecting pigments to create vibrant radiance. So this does not really give you coverage. It does give you a nice glow and the reflective pigments I would agree with because you do get that reflect from the product, but it's not even like a BB cream. It's super minimal with its coverage. It's just going to give you the slightest even out and that reflect for that glow. And that will help with, you know, your fine lines and any sort of pigmentation maybe. It might help reflect. If you have mature skin and it's dry, this would be great to use on its own or over the top of your other moisturizing products. So that, it does look like it has a bit of color, but when you blend it in, it feels really nice on the skin. If you like a hydrating product, this is really nice as a moisturizer. And it smells really good too, actually. But you can see, you get that glow and that reflect but not really a lot of coverage. Okay guys, so that is it for my review on the Dr. Hauschka skincare products. I'd love to hear from you down below if you have used any of their products and what your feedback is. Uh, as always, if you have any suggestions for me or requests for reviews or trials on any other skincare brands, please let me know. Otherwise, I hope you all have an amazing week and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.